Oh, wait, 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 this has to go on the side. Hey, people, how's it going? Um, this is actually lunchtime in Hong Kong right now. Um, but as you can see, I, it's, it's really late lunch. It's, it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, here, just hold on, we just try to dodge this area. So ra rather interesting title today, um, because there's a reason why I say that. There's a reason why I say that is because this is Tong Fan. Tong Fan is actually soup rice. It's not a very conventional dish that you see all the time. Where's the spoon? Oh, done. Yeah. So here. So here, you see, da -da. Oh, crap. I just spilled my thing. Okay, just hold on. Let me drop my microphone. Oh, wait. Sorry, you guys just passed through my shirt. Oops, that sounds kind of perverted. Okay, there we go. Alright, so here, who's here? Oh, legendary cartoon cat ghost, Eric. Yeah, you're second guy. So, okay. So with this, I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating today. So, Tong Fan is actually a bowl of soup and it has rice at the bottom. And then, so this one is actually filled with oysters. Um, see, if you see like baby oysters, that's baby oysters right there. Hey, hi, Jingle Jingle Bell, Data Octane Main, Yo Yo, Badness 5678, Yo Yo. And it's a very savory soup, mm, believe it or not. Wait, is this real? What do you mean, is this real? What the hell? It's, of course it's real, you guys. Okay, wait, gotta take off my jacket. You mean real is in real life? Or is it, is in, are we on live right now? Poor baby oyster, I'm so mean. Why, why am I mean? Okay, wait, my shirt looks kind of funny today. And it says rad. You have a flu today? Oh my God, it's COVID. It's COVID. It's real. Hell yes. It is very real. Mm -hmm. You're on live. Oh, the Lego on your floor. I like your name, by the way. Found my channel recently, and your eye. I don't understand what that means. Nice to see you at lunch hour. I know, Jack. So this is Dong Ling Cha. Dong Ling Cha is basically iced lemon tea. It's one of my favorite drinks in the Hong Kong Cha Tan Hang. Do not underestimate this cup of tea. It's actually very high in caffeine. Videos about travel inspire you. So this is actually not so much about, okay, so when I do bu uh, budget travels, I, I do a lot of in-town travels in Hong Kong, but today I'm exclusively gonna actually talk about Cha Tan Tang. So Cha Tan Tang actually, um, actually translates to tea restaurant. So this one is not so much a Cha Tan Tang, but it's a Jok Mi, meaning you eat congee and porridge and noodles. Yeah. My Dong, Dong fan is making you hungry again. Mm. Rice and soup is super good. Mm -hmm. Oh, he had a cat, but he left? No way. So here, this is like a, this is kind of like anchovies. It's crispy, but it's not like anchovies. It's not, it's kind of like a, a piece of smoked fish. Mm. So good. So good. Ooh. So crunchy, yeah. Super crunchy. Mm. Oh. Is there music in the restaurant? No, it's actually from my phone. It's, it's the jingle that I put in. How's the music? Is it really loud? I can turn it down if it's too noisy. It's strictly from me. Oh, this is so good. It actually tastes like heaven. So they actually have ground pork. Have you look? ground pork. As you can see, there's not a crazy lot of meat in here, but I love it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, the thing with these places, right? The prices aren't, ex aren't extraordinary. So this is 53 bucks. It's like, mm, it's like seven bucks US, seven bucks. Um, you miss the Hong Kong smelly bean curd, best in the world. Mm. Is the music less loud now? 
I just turn it down. Is it still loud? Oh, so hot. Ah, so hot. Red shirt. I know. It's totally old school. It's like oversized too. How's the music now? Somewhat better. Let me know. Music's fine. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. So in these places, they actually sell some rather interesting stuff. So as I say, it's a kanji place, right? So this whole section is actually kanji. So you can have all sorts. So kanji is like porridge. Um, so it's like you boil rice in um, in water, and, and then you get porridge. So they put all sorts of meats in there. You can have uh, pork. You can have pork intestines. You can have pork liver. You can have fish meat. You can have uh, uh, beef slices. You can have assorted seafood. Uh, you can have preserved duck egg. You can have the salted egg. So all these, all these actually like go inside the the uh, the porridge. And chang mm, is like a rice. It's kind of like a flat rice noodle, except for it's never cut out. Um, I have a lot of cats. Nine. I got nine. Yep, great portion. The portion's awesome. Like, yeah. And let's see what else they have. They have wontons. Mmm. They got dumplings. Mmm. You can get a thing of vegetables. Just steamed vegetables. That's like actually like one of my favorite stuff. Because they drizzle this like beef au jus on it. It's so good. Um, Melikat had ramen noodles with spicy sausages for dinner tonight on Lipton lemon iced tea. Oh, good, good, good. Leg on your floor, that's so weird. It's 11.52 p.m. Mm. It's like 2 p.m. here. And you know what? I actually totally make you guys hungry every time I do my live stream. Um, it's, it's so I was told, not too loud, but the music repeatedly. Yeah, the music, the music loops, right? Mm -hmm. And you can actually get all sorts of noodles, not just wonton noodles. You can have um, stewed beef noodles, super good by the way. Um, you can get uh, fish meatballs. You can get, what else? You can get dry noodles. Have you guys ever had dry noodles? Ever? Dry noodles are super good. So instead of putting it in soup, your soup is actually on the side. Mm. Let's see. It's like the Smurf music. Should I change the Smurf music? Okay, let me let me put a different track on it. Mm. Different track. How's that? What do you guys think about this music now? Smur the Smurf music. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. So in Hong Kong, most of our food actually comes with a beverage. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you. Mad Titan. Thank you so much. Lunch on you. Awesome. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, like, you know, I, it's, it's actually really cool that I actually get to show you guys the stuff that's here in Hong Kong. And even when people travel, it's not like they hit up places where, you know, where I go. Because it's very local. The places I go, one of them are actually this loud. Are you kidding me now? How's the music now? Where in Hong Kong is this? This is actually in Prince Edward. Um, I like the sound of the people in the background, it satisfies you. It's very, it's like an ambient sound, isn't it? Um, how's, how, how's the music now? Here in Malaysia, very common with dry noodles. Mm -hmm. Even wonton mean is preferred to be dry here, really? Oh, it's really loud now, really. That's weird. Good, maybe a tad louder. Okay, there's no music now. I'm gonna turn it up 
just a little bit. Now you guys tell me, this is the minimum. See if it's still blasting. Okay, it's good. Because with this app, um, there's something with the way that they gauge the music. I think there's a glitch. I tried to write it to them, but they haven't fixed it yet. What's Hong Kong? Um, it's Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so the places that I go to, first of all, they're not touristy. Second of all, it's extremely local. It's loud? Is this still loud? Wait. Is this still loud? Really? Are you serious now? It can't be. It's at like one. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the music if it's still loud. So, um, going once, going twice. I know the soup makes you really hungry. And how about the little oysters? The little oysters in here? Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm, can't be that loud. Mm. So, give me some pictures. What's this? What's the other one? Ah. So in this place, they actually have. This is a cha tan tang. This is not a cha tan tang. It's like the chuk fun. It's kind of like um, porridge and noodles. Okay, so they can actually have um, steam um, steam ribs. Um, in black bean sauce. This goes with rice. It's really good. My uncle also wrote, nice in a small flat. Cool. Hey, Kyle. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cats and animals have always been my life. So. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a secret new thing. Mad Titan, what's a secret new thing? So. These are the rice. And the secret ingredient to their rice is their soy sauce is actually not just soy sauce they cooked a lot of different meat juices in their soy sauce and it turns it into like a signature so here you have um, barbecue pork and then you have two eggs some vegetables on rice and the special sauce is actually their soy sauce you have to sleep okay cool phil i'll see you later uh But artist, hey, Chaitanya, yo, Sierra's our time. Um, Kiana, yo, good to see ya. This is zapa, zapa meaning the assorted steak. They got ham, pork chop, and a, 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 a thin steak. You don't get a lot of the oysters? No. So some Hong Kong foods are not exactly are not exactly healthy. So this is probably one of the healthiest that's in the menu. That's on the menu. But another thing is, um, when people say they want Chinese food without MSG, no, they're real oysters. Mm -hmm. West Coast. So that's like the Seattle side. Correct? Hey, so yet? Mm. Something that you guys need to know. Where to go? Mm. Okay, there's no salt. Mm. There's no salt. No, no salt. So okay, in Hong Kong, the cha tan tang is right. If this was a salt bottle, you would see actually rice grains inside it. That way, it absorbs the humidity and it keeps the salt from clumping. You'll see that in Hong Kong, Hong Kong cha tan tang. The thing is, because it's so humid here, yeah, we have that salt pumping problem, yeah, making you miss traveling. San Francisco, nice. Actually, I like Frisco. I like Frisco a lot. Um, Believe it or not, I thought, what is it, um, Castro? Such a cool place. Um, this is oyster and uh, kind of anchovies, not anchovies, but oyster and pork and anchovy-ish stuff in a soup rice. Mm. Mm. Thanks, the crow. The crow's like my biggest advocate. Mm -hmm. 
if anything, he's probably walking around the street, you know, holding up a sign telling people to like subscribe to Malika. I bet he probably does that. <laughs> Good to see you on Uncle Dan. Oh. Mm. This is too good. And the iced lemon tea just goes perfectly with it. See, in, I was asking my friend that's in the restaurant business. Um, in Canada, they use a lot of high fractose corn syrup. But here, we actually use just like sugar syrup. Yeah, for the most part. Mmm. Actually, it was raining in Hong Kong yesterday, too. Thank you. Yeah. And another thing is, see, right here. So these, right? Um, what happens is that there's uh, chili oil. It's for adding into your food. And then there's vinegar. Mm -hmm. This is it's, it's funny the vinegar is not white. It's like a it's like a different type of vinegar You got the toothpicks And I remember I went to a restaurant and it says do not steal the toothpicks Salt and pepper And see here um, Mostly you'll find just white sugar And it's funny like you know when I was in Canada, I was very health conscious like I need brown sugar um, You know, I can't I can't do it if you guys give me white bread but all of that um, insistence is actually gone after it came to Asia. If you gave me somebody's meal by accident, I'll be like, I'll eat it. It's like, there's pork, uh, there's pork intestines, I'll eat it. If there's pork liver, I'll eat it. Yeah, it's weird. Um, is YouTube my primary living or do I work a regular job? I have a regular job. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I, I work for myself, but yes, I do have a regular job. Mm. Hey, Alan, you hungry now? I'm getting a donut. A donut? What time is it right now? Plain sugar syrup in Hong Kong is so much better than corn syrup. I agree. You know, um, in Canada, they always say, oh yeah, we got a high fractose corn syrup. That's actually worse than sugar. And um, what is it? Margarine, like hydrogenized ones, is actually worse than butter itself. So if anything, in small quantities, I just eat butter anyway, instead of the so-called more healthier version margarine, because it's so artificial. Mm. Let's see, um, Sierra Zar, it's amazing, I have so many interesting stories to share. Mm. Oh, for my job. I do talk for a living and for me um, I'm one of those people who pays attention to like little things and when I travel I just like to look at people's culture and just you know the way that people that people get about you know in life right so I, I actually appreciate that a lot oh and in Hong Kong contact tracing is in full effect so they even have the QR code that's on a table scan it you scan it when you come in, take your body temperature, the thermometer. It's in full effect because our restaurants opened up. Um, so you can't dine in the restaurant unless you scan contact tracing. Or you can write your name and number on a piece of paper for them. Mm. Right now, it's like 2 p.m. Mm, oxtail soup. Mm, I think oxtail soup is really good. Mm. Yep, lard is healthier than vegetable oil too. Yeah, that's what they say. I wouldn't be too surprised. If you don't eat like a lot of it, I, I would, for me, I would like to stick to more natural stuff. I don't know if you guys would be, um, would agree, but you know, I, I don't like processed things. I try not to eat them. Mm, Hong Kong's very clean. For an Asian country, yeah. Um, what you guys don't uh gam 1974 you guys don't use qr code contact tracing how does that work for you guys 
Mm. Ran uh, random question. Is it compulsive, compulsive to learn French in school? When I was in Canada, yeah, um, uh, up until a certain grade. Mm, 12 a.m. in the U.S., nice. Mm, sugar syrup versus maple syrup. Well, I'm, I'm Canadian, but then I'm not a big fan of maple syrup. Yeah, everything moderation. Mm. Has anyone successfully guessed my age yet? Well, if you go from 18 to 80, just count. You guys all take a number. One of you guys are doomed to win. Mm. Dazzling Diva dudes work. Um, what am I eating now? It's a soup. It's a soup rice. It's for people who's indecisive, um, who don't know what to eat. And I got soup rice. It's got oysters, something that looks like anchovies, and it's got minced pork in it. Mm. <laughs> Garlic madness. Mm. You haven't eaten out of NYC for a while? Well, are you guys really housebound right now? Is that why? Yeah, so key talk, it's the same in Hong Kong. It's the same. Some people are um, very sensitive about using the QR code. They don't want their personal, personal information to be taken. So they rather write their phone number down, but I mean, I don't think we have a lot of privacy with cell phones nowadays anyway, so. For me, I don't care. Um, mm, mm. Why is my table shaking? That's so weird. Kiana, um, as I say, everyone, you guess between 18 and 80. If you guess every number, one day you'll get it. Mm -hmm. It's true, 16 or 65. Asian genes, it's true. You know, when I uh, when I was in high school, my um, my classmate's brother wanted to ask my older sister out, and guess what? It was my mom. And I was like, it's because I have like two sisters, and he was like pointing at the in the distance where my sister and my mom, my sisters and my mom were standing in the distance and they were like, oh, does she have a boyfriend? And then I was like, okay, which one? And it turned out, they pointed at my mom. So I was like, you idiot, that's my mom. But just to answer his question, I'm like, no, she doesn't have a boyfriend. She has a husband and that's called my dad. Mm. Oh, what's a movie that I first recall seeing in a theater? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, it's a Japanese animation, actually. Yeah. Um, you have to pick. What's the best cuisine for me out of all the countries I've visited? Japanese. And then comes Vietnamese. <laughs> Eric, nice try. Mm. Some old granny forgot to use the hand phone to scan the QR code. Well, grannies don't have to. They can just write it on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. In gaming, I can hand for it. It must be slowly opening up. Indoor dining, 25 to 35% capacity. Wow. Ew, sriracha to the so to the soup? That's gross. Why would you ruin a good soup like that? No. Hi, I am Martin Sam. You know what I'm talking about? Too giant. <coughs> Fat little oysters. Mm -hmm. mm. Can't say no to little oysters, can I? People still ask me. When you leave high school and you're 23, you're black if, if that wasn't obvious. <laughs> Studio Ghibli? Was it Studio Ghibli? 
，呀呀，宫崎骏呀，得水。Hey Benjamin, favorite song from my teenage years. Actually, it wouldn't. It it wouldn't. If you're trying to use that to guess my age, then it wouldn't work. Because my favorite song in my teenage years was、um, actually、um, an Elvis song that my mom really liked. That she played in the house all the time. So、um, if anything, it's, it's Elvis and Beatles.、Mm. Um, our phone numbers in the U.S. would be impossible. Why?、It、infringes on personal freedom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I totally get it. Yep. Japanese and Vietnamese. Ah,、oh, my favorite. We love it. Mm-hmm. Actually, Philippines is good food, but it's not that healthy. Yeah, but it tastes really good. Actually. In Vietnam, their Vietnamese food kind of tastes different, real,、yeah. in a good way. Hey, Maddie B, favorite breed of cat? Street cats. During troubled times, thank you, ray of sunshine. Oh, oh, thanks for being part of my life. When I show you guys, you know my world. I'm glad you guys saw something that you like in there, Maddie B. Anyone say I look like Miriam Young? No, I've seen her in real person. I don't look like her. Hmm. Aloha from Hawaii. Oh, nice! I got someone from Hawaii. Eating some dinner as we speak. 8 12 p.m. here. Nice Saturday. Oh, it's Sunday. Oh, it's still Sunday for you guys. Hmm. If it's Elvis, then that would make me like in my 80s, I think. Yeah. If anything, yeah. I look pretty good for 80, right? I hope I do. Um, Charles Marlow, hey Mel, the Mel cat. Hmm. Eric Blocker is asking, lining up. Too many men lining up. I actually got a lot of girls in my channel. What is the best movies ever? If not. Or not so much. My favorite movie. Hmm. A favorite movie. One favorite movie. I can't decide between Shutter Island,、um, Inception, Vanilla Sky, or Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I can't pick between these four, or in maybe Forrest Gump. I can't pick between maybe Mr. and Mrs. Smith. How am I in my fifties? I'm in my eighties. I'm approaching eighty really soon. Trust me.、Um, in cat years either, is not gonna work. Hey, Bernice. Bernice, aren't you in school? Hmm. Yeah, Monday tomorrow work. Well, it's Monday already for us. Have I eaten proper or have? Garlic man is proper Filipino food in、uh, Philippines is so good. I remember I had something called、uh, milk fish. Oh, so good! I said in section before.、Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, I heard that、uh, Filipino food mostly is not healthy. You just got home from school. Oh yeah, you got to physical school now, do you not? Sling blade. Hmm. Hmm. You're here for the vibes. You know what'd be really cool? If I was actually like 80, like if I was a grandma, I think that'd make it even cooler. Grandma, going on budget travel and urban exploration. 
and have the energy to chase around nine cats. Mm-mm, haven't. There's online, wow, so Bernice, you have physical school and online school, insane. Mm. Well, I ate so much, it's not even funny. Oh, I'm so full, oh yeah, pro tip about Ta Tan Pangs, just so you know, if you're to use chopsticks, always rinse them in a cup of hot water before you use it, because sometimes when the dishwashers wash it, it's not the cleanest. Sometimes there's remnant detergent in it. Chicken fetus is a delicacy? Ew. Why would you eat that? Everyone get on a Malakad age quiz traffic line. Um, you are on my Patreon, Eric. You're on there already. Um, let's see. Oh, speaking of Patreon, actually, yeah, I do have a Patreon that you guys can actually join. Um, I use the money to actually support my channel and to, uh, to all of the animals that I help out in the community, um, be it rescuing, feeding them, you know, getting them ointments and medication. If you want to support that, you know, there's Patreon. And just so you guys know, I do have a Discord. So um, outside of my streaming hours, you know, there's actually a conversation that's going on in Discord. So you'll see the links in the description. Mississippi? No, this is Hong Kong. This is Hong Kong. You see, I have a fish tank in the flat, and how do I take care of my cats and fishes? It's called multitasking. Yeah. I don't see how incredible that is. I've been doing that all my life. Am I traveling at the moment? I'm doing in town travels. I'm in Hong Kong right now. Mm hmm. I know, Mississippi. Where in Mississippi is it? Am I planning on traveling anytime again soon? Um, no. We can't, can't really go anywhere. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I agree. Um, Sierra's art. But you know, I, I think sometimes how open minded we are actually depends on how much we travel. And of course, personality as well. But that's why they say uh, Instead of reading uh, 10,000 scrolls of books, you should walk 10,000 miles. You know, when you actually go see different places, your, your mind actually opens up. If you stay like, you know, in one region all your life, yeah, it's, it's almost like you only absorb information that's always the same, more of the same shit. So that's why I travel all the time. I, I just travel all the time. No coffee, t oh, yeah, I should, I should get some coffee. Mm. So this is a scar bandage. That's um, that's uh, it's like a silicone silicone bandage, I think, and it's supposed to get rid of scars if you keep it on long enough. Yeah. Lived in Mississippi, that's why the sun's still at number one. Cool. Wow, you guys are very observant. I didn't know that you guys can actually see this. Why is why is she speaking English? Why? Because we're a bilingual city. We're ruled by the UK. Everyone here speaks English. Even the street signs are bilingual here. <coughs> yeah, so Hong Kong's used to be uh, ruled by the UK. Um, if anything, we were taught English since we were a baby. So now we're trilingual, we speak Mandarin as well. So when you get on the train, it's like you hear the same thing three times. English, Cantonese, Mandarin. English, Cantonese, Mandarin. It's a bit annoying if you ask me, but... Bleh. Yeah. Why do you, um, why, for those of you who's abroad, have, have you not seen an Asian person speak English? Is that, is, does that not exist? Um, have I ever used a dating app and hope that was not personal? You know what? Um, I've actually saw like a lot of screen captures uh, from my friends who were using like dating apps. And actually, you know what? If I get really bored one day, I think I should use it for like a source of entertainment, considering the stuff that they actually send over. And I was like, seriously, some of these people's like profiles are just like hilarious. Mm. Hong was only owned by Hong Kong's the only part owned by uh, UK. No, we used to be governed by UK for I think 150 years. We just got handed back to China not too long ago. Um, uh, but yeah, so we were a British colony. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, so, you know, run Millie. Someone's coughing out the back, uh, COVID cough. So in Hong Kong, basically you can live your whole life here, not speaking a word of English. Uh, a lot of expats here, they've been here all their lives and yeah, they don't speak Chinese. Henry, would you type? You don't have to type when here, she's not in the room. <laughs> Have you learned partial Spanish by going to Disneyland several times? Ah, when I switch between English and Cantonese with minimal accent, I can do it in Mandarin too. <laughs> Actually, I, I after like you know after all this time, I I start to think that maybe language is my strong suit because it actually it, like even when I picked up Mandarin when I learned uh, when I lived in Taiwan. I picked it up like in like five months and I don't speak Mandarin at all. Ugh. You're catching me live while you're writing. <gasps> what are you writing? Like an essay? Are you doing like homework and stuff? Okay, let's see. Uh, West Virginia, cool. 1997, handed back. Um, actually, no, that is, Charles, that's not right. CCP is not a country. So technically speaking, you can't hand somebody to CCP. Yeah. Gotta correct you there. Um, so, let's see. Have I seen Godzilla? Mm, no, I, actually, I haven't. Uh, what is it? Godzilla and King Kong's coming up, right? Uh, Japanese student exchange? Actually, that's one thing that I, I missed. I should have went to student exchange. Don't know much about that area. My attention has only turned because it was protests last year. Uh, well, there's no protest here, so that was over. But I think the states still have the protest, right? Speaking of protests, I think you guys are uh, are still kind of dealing a little bit with that, huh? Seems like you guys got like multiple protests going on. I, I, I can't even keep track, frankly. Um, you're novelist. Oh, very talented. Very talented. Hey, good job. So most of the people in Hong Kong know English. Yes, correct. Correct. Uh, so is it uh, people wanting to be governed? Uh, no, it's just a, well, with just just like with any protest. I'm sure they got some sort of you know they got some sort of demands. But then, frankly, I don't watch TV. Yeah, so you're asking the wrong person. Hey, Catherine, uh, Josh, most people. Uh, let's say uh, parts of uh, in parts of Toronto, you can go your whole life without speaking English. Really? Really? That's crazy. That's like Vancouver. Uh, to, oh, cool. Delray Beach. I don't know where that is, but hi to your two kitties. Um, wait, wait, wait. Part of British Commonwealth? I, I can't say I miss it because I don't know what that was like. I didn't grow up in Hong Kong. So I grew up in Canada. So uh, you must be new to my channel. So I grew up in Canada. Um, so in case you're hearing the Canadian accent, it's because I, yeah, I was in Canada pretty much all my life. So do I miss British Commonwealth? I don't know. I haven't been here long enough to know what that was like. Um, full sale price on a plus one smartphone. What? Oh, thank you. Crush admitted. <laughs> so funny. Crush admitted. So is it crush admitted um, level unlocked? Maybe I should get a sticker for that. <laughs> um, you write horror novels or middle grade and I'm an author illustrator for graphic novels. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, Catherine, can you shoot me a message on my IG? I would love to get in touch with you. Um, um, my IG information is actually at the uh, bottom of my description. Um, let's see, um, Mel's day is just nine suitors. Yeah, I live with nine very beautiful creatures at home. Do you have a cat camera at home? <laughs> um, give me my kid some pets for me? No, you're not gonna have my kids. Of course not. Special administrative region? Yes. Uh, so whatever it is, it means, um, it, so Hong Kong and Macau are special administrative regions, meaning they got, they were, uh, Macau is right next to Hong Kong. So they used to be ruled by um, Portugal and Hong Kong used to be uh, a British colony. So when we get handed back to China, um, there's a treaty, I think, and it says that, you know, things, laws, uh, you know, everything's going to remain the same uh, for a, a long period of time as a buffer. So um, for that, uh, so for that time, we're called special administrative regions, meaning we get to keep the customs, we get to keep the laws, we get to keep the traditions from before so that people don't go through like a crazy change overnight. 
that's that's my understanding. Um, oh wow, Matthew! Thank you so much. Thank you from Vancouver. I went to college in Vancouver. Um, I grew up in Calgary, but then I grew up, uh, but then I went to college in Vancouver. I used to live in Burnaby. Um, oh, and for all of you guys who are supporting my channel um, through, uh, you know, the YouTube Super Chat, Super Stickers, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, in, in case you're wondering what you're, uh, what you're supporting, first of all, to run my channel. Second of all, um, the other half of my channel, aside from budget traveling, I actually rescue and help a lot of cats, um, be it fostering, feeding, um, sponsoring the neighborhood, uh, the neighborhood um, volunteers with food and medication, or doing it myself, um, you know, just help animals in the neighborhood, cats, dogs, whatever it is that we find. Uh, I helped a rabbit find a, find a home actually just recently. Um, and uh, if you guys want to support me further, I do have a Patreon, which they actually don't take as much as YouTube does. YouTube, by the time I get whatever you guys uh, pledge, I only get 51%, whereas on Patreon, I get 92%. So uh, you guys can consider that if you want more of uh, the stuff to end up on my side instead of getting blood sucked by, uh, by YouTube. But nonetheless, thank you. Um, Canada's cool. Do I speak French as well? I don't. Um, lost most of it. Um, how this is for Canadian guy that we say about we say about we don't say a boot um, let's see oh Catherine awesome I think I just got your message set one of my devious plan you're 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 my biggest fan really so are you on my discord uh, don't consider yourself a fan of my channel um, you know if you're not on my discord got some pretty kick-ass conversations going on there with some pretty cool people um, Ni Niagara Falls. No, I never have. 50 people plus blah blah blah. They're breaking the police line. <laughs> breaking the police line? No! Um, is it technically a witch as I have a black cat? Technically speaking, yes. I'm gonna get turned. I'm, I'm actually gonna get tied onto a stick and I'm gonna get burned. Oh, thank you, Matthew. Yeah, um, really appreciate it, you guys. Um, my Patreon, it's a very small following that I have. So you can see my channel isn't the biggest, but I do have some very, very awesome people. When you when you come into my Discord, you'll see, like we're actually, like most of us actually have like very similar values and the conversations that we get into are actually quite fun. Um, over time, we actually all learn like stuff about each other and we check in daily just to, you know, share things, have little rants, have cool conversations. Um, share um, what is it share pictures of our pets um, cool Catherine I'll take a look at your pictures um, magical girl because she has a black hat Sailor Moon um, let's see uh, Buffalo I've never been to Buffalo um, Calgary interesting yeah see the thing is I don't know a lot of people who's, who actually lives in Calgary. Um, yeah, I don't think it's the coolest place in Canada. It's not bad, but it's not the coolest place. Yeah, so you guys, all of the Discord information, my IG, my Patreon, everything is in the description of the videos. Um, so you can actually see that. Uh, Alan, are you getting PTSD? Nova Scotia. Ooh. Uh, you're trying to chase Anna, Shannon, no luck yet. She's not big on social media, trust me. She's a social media dinosaur. You're watching me from YouTube? Um, cool, so uh, my question to you guys. Okay, let me just get my bill. For you guys who actually just found my stream, right? How did you actually find my stream? Um, I actually have to edit some videos for you guys. Um, I have a video um, that, I have to, that I have to compile. It's actually pre-recorded, so I went to a dog cafe not too long ago, and I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, let me get rid of this. My GF is from Adisville, just north from here, near Red Deer. Aha! Got it. Got it. Okay, just hold on. Let me, and then, 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 let me grab my stuff. I'm gonna go grab a coffee. You're here because of Ding Ding's videos? No, I'm not able to travel abo abroad. I'm in Hong Kong right now. Oh, I'm God. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take all my stuff right now. Uh, my stream is on your YouTube home. Okay, cool. 
What's my graphic no novels like? You like this medium? Oh, I'm not. Wait. Oh, see ya, Benjamin. Ding, ding. It's really safe and everything opens up. Yeah, Hong Kong really never had a lockdown. Um, I must praise Hong Kong for. We have, we're in a city of like, just hold on. Let me fix my microphone. Oh, so windy. Wow, it's a windy day, huh? So Hong Kong is a city of like eight point some million people. And it's basically like the size of New York City, as far as I can remember. It's like less than 2,000 square kilometers, uh, something like that. Oh, hello, hello, hello. And we are able to keep our COVID cases to like double digits. When we have like 100 and I think 60, we were already shit in our pants. But uh, yeah, like now I didn't keep up with the news, but I think we're at either like high teens or like 20s in terms of cases. Okay, well, you're walking in a very local neighborhood now. And just so you guys know, I'm going to stop by the neighborhood shop cats. So you guys are in for a treat. What? Women's feet videos, I'm sure. Right, right. You failed the Bernice test you didn't say hi to. You failed. <laughs> Lockdowns don't work apparently. I have I have no idea. You know, some people say lockdowns don't work, some people say face masks don't work, some people say vaccines don't work. Some people say humanity doesn't work. Some people say the most effective thing is stupidity, which I start to think that's kind of true. Uh, ignorance, maybe bliss, I don't know. People in Hong Kong, are they nice? Ah, it's kind of like New York City, uh, I don't think so. There's nice people, but I don't think as a city as a whole, not really. But it's very safe, people just don't give a shit. Graphite pencils in 12 shades as your medium, all hand drawn, cool. Hey, that's very talented, by the way. Oh, this shop has a shop cat. Hello. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Meow, meow. Oh, skittish. <laughs> oh, cat cat. I just had to, to say hi. There's cat cafes in Hong Kong, yes. You're not giving up. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, all right. Pet the cat. Well, too skittish. Here she left already. But there's a lot of shop cats in this neighborhood. So these are some of the uh, government project apartments. As you can see, they're actually kind of colorful. Oh, it's your major in college. Awesome. Okay, let's see. I think there's actually another. Is a scaredy cat. Uh, do they eat cats in China? Yes, but this is not China. I'm so glad we don't eat that kind of stuff here. Oh, I know there's a cat here. Yeah. Can't see that? Can't see! all of So guys, there's a shop that has a cat. Found while watching Ding Ding videos, how I told you immediately subscribe, thank you. But actually, I talked to some of my clients um, in China. They said it's actually the older generation that eats it. People that are like, uh, that are like, you know, post 70s, post 80s and on, they said they don't eat that. Kitties, I know. Okay, take you guys on a little walk. I know of a few of the neighborhood cats here. So in Hong Kong, we have something that is a, it's a, it's a shop cat culture. So uh, the shops actually own a cat and they stay in the shop. They're really smart. There we go. This is Oh, Siu Chun. Ah, Siu Chun. Siu Chun. 
See, he's got a lot of scars. He used to get bullied on the street until this shop's owner rescued him. He stays in the shop now. He doesn't even go out when they keep the doors open. He's just very blessed that he's inside. Hi, Suchun. Hello. No, Paul, that is horribly disgusting. Ew. But if you're gonna try it, you know, <laughs> that's your thing. He's so cute. So cute. But yeah, that's like a permanent scar. He used to get beaten up really bad on the street. The scar was so deep, you know, the fur doesn't grow back. Alright. Okay, so this is a, a bakery. <clears throat> And Suchun actually doesn't steal the food. You know what? To the alligator, the most exotic meat is probably human meat. No shit. Matter of perspective, you guys. Uh, yeah, they're used to it. Uh, there's actually a few shops here that have... Actually, there was one here. But the cat isn't. Oh, the cat's not here today. Oh, usually there's a cat on these motorbikes. Nope. Okay. Interesting. Oh, hi. Hi, hi. Hi. Hello, how are you? <laughs> so in Hong Kong, see, a lot of cats have a bent tail. It's a gene that they have in Asia. It's not like the tail is broken. It's just born like that. Oh, this guy has a curly tail. Hi, hi. Yeah, do you smell my nine cats? Aw, you're such a lovely cat. You're so trusting. So in this neighborhood, you know, in Hong Kong, um, the cats are, are, I've never seen a cat that's like in a really bad condition. Um, you know, they're usually okay. Are you a street cat or are you a shop cat? Ah, so trusting, huh? Yeah, yeah, okay, alrighty. And the best part is in Hong Kong, we don't have rabies. So uh, we've eradicated rabies since a long time ago. Whoa, since a long time ago. Oh, there's no claws. Just kind of like a fuck off little paw paw. Strawberries long lost sibling. Oh, hello. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, cute cat. I think there's actually a, a few cats in one of these shops. Pretty cool, huh? Do you guys, is there such thing as shop cats where you guys live? Because in Hong Kong, depending on the neighborhood, uh, some more local, older neighborhoods, uh, yeah. And they're actually really smart. Because they've actually seen the world. You can watch someone on a side world pet cats you can't currently pet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Canada, I've actually seen sh uh, shop cats. I've actually seen shop cats. Uh, it was uh, a downtown, it was like a secondhand shop, and they had a shop cat with a raspy voice. Are we near Dong Dong? Haha, you're right. You are right. Do you guys want to go see Dong Dong? Any Ding Ding followers here? Uh, I'm going to go visit Ding Ding's sister, Dong Dong, and I'm going to go visit Ding Ding's niece. That is Samgak, Samgak meaning three legs. 
it doesn't mean anything. Like ding ding dong dong is just a sound. Feral cat issue here in the island. Oh. Yeah, in Hong Kong, our trap, neuter, and release program by SPCA is quite strong here. So a lot of the street cats, you'll see that a corner of their ear has a marking, and it means that they have been spayed or neutered. You're about to see a shop that has five shop cats. See if you're lucky enough. Do you remember Gogo and Mui Mui? The munchkin cat that was uh, the foster? This was Gogo and Mui Mui's uh, uh, foster. Why? I'm sorry, Leo. Oh, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. 唔係啊，咪上次嗰只最後留咗喺我度，唔係嗰只橙色嗰只啊，係啊，最後留咗喺我度，係啊，夾唔到。之後嗰只灰白色嗰只係丁丁咪咪喺我屋企咯。嗰只係咪啲食㗎？係啊，係啊。喂喂，係啊，阿天之城，我陣間都過去睇下。蛋蛋 ，so you guys， this is 蛋蛋，蛋蛋 is 哥哥妹妹 foster。So when they were babies, this shop actually found them, and Dan Dan was taking care of them. Uh, she's a munchkin cat. Munchkin cat! Huh? Jamea. 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 Now her tail is just a little fat. Hey, how are you? 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 I always don't remember. This is who? Xiao Bao. Xiao Bao. 小宝，悠悠，小宝 ，hello。阿臭臭去边啊？诶，嚟啊，嗌下佢个男嘅嗱声。诶，臭臭，哎呀，见到你啦，臭臭 ，hello。臭臭肥咗。臭臭就肥咗啦。嗯。This is 臭臭 ，smelly smelly。臭臭，呢只系小宝，蛋蛋。然后呢个系边个嚟噶？大宝。大宝，小宝，诶，即系细，即系细路啦。大宝阿哥，喂呀，喂，落嚟，落嚟，喂呀，我头先以为呢只系我，原呢只系佢嚟噶，喂呀，佢系大宝个仔嘛呢个，佢叫咩名啊？阿姨，阿姨，大宝个仔，喂呀，喂呀，点解你咁得意噶？点解？点解你咁得意噶？哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！啱啱先到打完，系啊。哎呀，哎呀，好啦，臭臭 ，OK， 拜拜，臭臭，臭臭唔理我。So everyone say goodbye to， yeah， 我谂系。This is 蛋蛋 ，foster of 哥哥 and 妹妹。喂，下次见，拜拜。每次经过我都要摸下你啲毛，系咪人人都系咁啊？成日经过咧，就一定咧要手痕摸下佢哋。拜拜。So， 呃，蛋蛋 ，the munchkin cat。If you actually watch my。If you actually watch my previous video, when Gogo Mui Mui first came home, you can actually see Gogo Mui Mui being like this big, and they had this cat that was grooming them. It was that shop. She was fostering Gogo Mui Mui from like, uh, I think two weeks old until two months old before she gave them to me. Yeah. Can I understand Chinese? Of course I can. It's my first language. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna see what you guys are. The ginger is so cute. Dai Bo Xiu Bo is so cute. Yep, she's that lady. She has like six cats at home and five cats in the shop. Finland, nice. Juka. Barn cats and Mausers. Oh, cool. People get like cats wandering outside the city. Pets, supposedly. Ay, ay. No, it's not for sale. Those cats are not for sale. It's their shop cats. Hello, businessman. That's so cute. So we're going to go see Dong Dong right now. Dong Dong is... I know, the shopping... Oh, she loves... 
She loves cats. Actually, I helped her rehome a lot of cats that she found. Um, and I, I think at least 10 or 12. Ginger cats are the best. Do cats understand Chinese? I don't know. Cats understand any dialect because they're so awesome. Do cats have bad guess? Ha, huh, my cats don't. If my Canadian, my first language is English. No, my parents speak uh, Chinese. So my parents don't let me speak English at home because they're afraid that I don't understand Chinese. I'm going to lose the language. Tuxedo cats. Woo! I love, I love tuxedo cats. Okay, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Where's Don Don? Hello. Hello. Oh, hi, hi. Where's Don Don? Don Don, eh? Wait. Wait, Don Don. So this is Ding Ding's uh, sister, Don Don. Wait, yo. Go to one of her scenes. Hey. Sound good, huh? Don Don. So everyone meet Don Don. This is Ding Ding's sister. Do you know Ding Ding's video? There are 50 million people who have seen it. Huh? Yeah. 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 Hello. So this is Ding Ding's sister. They actually look very similar. So yes, there is a Don Don. For those of you who were wondering, it's like, is there a Don Don? There is a Don Don. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah? Bye bye. They have that grumpy face. Mm -hmm. Oh, they definitely look alike. Don Don's a lot more plump. Could they want Don Don fade you all? Fade, fade more. Look at the stomach. Look at a son girl, ah. Yeah, son girl is a niece. Um, so that's uh, there's one called Son girl, which is her daughter, uh, born with only three legs. I haven't seen her. Hi, Don Don. Don Don. I think Don Don's the older sister. My doll. Yeah. How many do you have? My. Who be a? Don Don. My Don Don. You got lawyer? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. Is it in the house? 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 Hey. Okay. Shina. You guys have no luck of seeing Samgak today. You can see Don Don. Hello, Don Don. I know. She's actually a lot more mellow. She's actually more okay with humans. That's why they had her as the shop cat. So you can see she can roam around. She's a lot more friendlier. She's a lot more cuddlier. Do my lamb a lot. My lamb a lot. But they look so similar, right? Family resemblance. Hey, do ah. I just said that this is her. Oh, you guys are gonna see Sangkar, the three-legged cat, Ding Ding's niece. Everyone get ready, you're going to see Ding Ding sneeze. I just said that this is her, you don't know. No. Wait, Sam Gak. So this is a niece. She has very beautiful eyes. Hey, Sam Gak. Sam Gak, come here. So there's Ding Ding's family, sister, niece. And if you look, wait, just hold on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
I, see, she has like three legs. This leg was, this leg had no leg. Okay, there we go. It's actually when she was born, her umbilical cord got caught. And so as a result, she, wait, nanzan, nanzan, nanzan. So she only have this as her, oh, she only had this as a leg. So she doesn't have, to me, yeah. To me, yeah. So she doesn't have um, a paw on this leg. Okay, la, okay, la. Hola, hola, say hi. Say hi. She kind of look like Ding Ding too, right? Oh, they're all grumpy cats. Grumpy, grumpy mouse. You grumpy mouse. Grumpy mouse. So this is Sam the. So yeah. See? Jumi, yeah, Jumi, Jumi, Jumi. Jumi, okay, all right. <laughs> So that's that, you guys. You guys actually saw uh, the the family of Ding Ding. Hola, bye bye, Sanka. See, she has one. This leg has no paw, but she was born that way. So she actually gets, she actually does pretty well on three legs. And the thing is, right? See, it doesn't. And when the vet, when the vet told them, it's like, oh, should amputate her lap. And they're like, because there's no need. It's not like it's bothering her. See? She still walks okay. Hey, hey, bye bye. Bye bye. Hello, I'm out. Bye bye. I'll send, I'll just send a picture for you. So that's that, you guys. Maine Coon, nice. Wow. Tripod kitty, aww. You know, I think squish the cat was a term that a Vancouver veterinarian actually used. Squish the cat. So it means when you're holding them, you have to hold them like a little bit firmly for them to feel secure. The cuteness, I know, right? She's a lot friendlier than Ding Ding. Where's your Mr. Twinkles? Yeah, so Don Don is the older sister. I think they were actually from the same litter. <laughs> I know watching my videos will actually, yeah, you'll probably want, you'll probably want more cats. All right, good night, Amer. Got snacks for them. It's a huge pet shop. Animals are more resilient to people. Um, but I mean, if we don't need to amputate, then don't amputate, right? Because she was born that way. So it's not like she had an injury. Um, yeah, this is actually a very local neighborhood. So it's just very chill here. And plus, I mean, this is actually like weekday, you know, PM. You miss Hong Kong food, nice. Yeah, if you guys stay around, I might be able to find more shot cats. Uh, yeah, I always come to this neighborhood for food. There's just a lot of local foods here. Lots of variety. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I come to see uh, Dong Dong and Samka all the time. I love them. I'm so full right now, I actually don't feel like getting coffee. Like, I made it to McDonald's, I was gonna get some McCafe, but then I'm like, okay, maybe not. I 
actually no. Maybe I'll get some because I'll. Wow. Wow, uh, who's this? This guy is like way too. He looks like. Wow. He looks like one of the guys from like the Japanese anime. Obey your elders? Um, yeah, in Asia they're mainly associated with bad luck. But I don't give a shit. Do I get money based on the length of people that's in your stream? No, I don't rely on YouTube income. It's crazy. I get like literally like 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 next to nothing. So I, I rely on my Patreon. Um, so if anything, some of you guys are on my Patreon already. Okay, I'm gonna get some McCafe. Here we have bubble tea. Okay, you can actually get bubble tea at McDonald's. And guy, are you are you at Dong Cafe? Jung Boy, Chow Cream, Siu Bang, guy. So I just like their house iced coffee. I'll get that. Okay. Okay. Come here, guy. 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 All right. Got myself some coffee. I'm just gonna wait. Just gonna wait for a little bit. Yeah, see, I have. I don't understand the thing with black cats. Like, for me, a cat is, is just a cat. Um, go to bed, milk cat for a stream, squishy cats. All good. All good. Amara, I'm sure when coffee looks at you, they say the same. Barf. <laughs> oh, let's see. We have boba tea here in LA. Nice. Boba is so good. Hong Kong, is there beer in the vending machines? No, but you can get beer 24-7 in a convenience store here. Harshi syrup. Nice. Religion superstition goes. Yeah, it depends on what country you go to. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really believe in that. I know coffee. How many coffee lovers do we have here? 7-Eleven is not better than the ones in Japan. The ones in Japan are the best. Like, by far the best. Oh, I got some hair from Dong Dong and from Samga. Turning yourself into a Hebrew. <laughs> uh, just made yourself a, uh, what is it? A chocolate coffee, nice. Ethiopian, yup. Yup, I love my coffee too. Oh, so good. 7-Eleven in Japan is supreme. So is it in Taiwan. Yeah. Finland is a crazy. Oh, I'm coming all that. Okay, I'm got. Thank you. That's a, that's a really big coffee. I'll drink it when I get back. Okay, I'm gonna go hit up that shop cat and then I'll wrap up my stream and I'll see if he's there. Um, that cat is called Kezi. Kezi meaning eggplant. And um, Kezi sometimes attacks me. Um, or just anybody. Wow, lived until 20. That's crazy. I know, it looks so good, right? Actually, I want to go to the market and get some shrimps for the meows. Probably do that later today. So, Hong Kong, you get fresh vegetables like that. So basically, um, you don't necessarily have to go to a grocery store. You love my nails, thank you. Ah, somebody actually noticed my nails are different all the time. Actually, I think Alan was one of the first ones to take notice. Oh wait, let me just, just show off my nails. This one actually looks like a diamond shape. Pretty cool, right? So anyway, hold it. There's McDonald's in Hong Kong. Oh my God, seriously. You got to do some serious traveling. There's McDonald's all over the world. Oh my God. I hope you didn't mean that. Uh, Fishery, the most black in the world is per citizen, even though 
We're super small, okay? <laughs> Call my cat Meow Meows. Actually, one of uh, one of my friend's cat that just passed away not too long ago. Um, his name is Meow Meow Good Boy. Yeah, totally. Totally. Well, if anything, uh, Freda trolls get really bored in my channel because, yeah, he'll say they're they're just bored as fuck. You love that name, meow meow, good boy, right? It's so cute. Archon, oh, panther. Pantheopeus? What is that? Wow, is that is that a is that a, a scientific name of some sort? Okay, let's see if KZ is there. KZ. Nope, KZ's not there. KZ. Nope. KZ. Just hold on. Okay, I'm gonna go in. KZ. Why? Why? I'm done. You know why? Why? La? Why? 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 This guy's like super shy. This one looks like Goko. This is actually his face. It's like Goko. Ah, Kezi. Kezi. What? Goko? He doesn't look like he's out. He's very shy. Okay. Now he's still in his house. Yeah. Okay. 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 我翻去啦，好冻啊！好多头先就经过，就见到阿茄子。头先啱打威威啊？点解打人噶你？你点解打人噶威威 ？He was just beating up 威威 ，the orange cat。系啦，咁我计吓，咁我计咩你？佢係啊，我覺得佢係老細咯，其實基本上，你就係老細啦，拜拜，拜拜，茄子，拜拜。So that's 茄子。Actually, that cat decided to live in that shop himself. He was used to be a stray. He actually just situated himself in there and just. You know, made that his home. The raccoon tail. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm gonna let you guys go now because what happens is that my hand is like so full. Well, it's not because I'm holding a lot of stuff. It's because it's because it's like really cold, and I can't switch hands, so my fingers are just freezing. I wonder if Maryland woman here have dating a friendly. YouTube troll. <laughs>、um, let's see. Are there any single available? No, but they're probably gonna tell you the same thing as what a lot of people would say is like the trolls should actually get a life before they get a girlfriend. Whoops! Did I just say that?、Uh, Cats are probably days around here. Cool. Yeah, it's popular everywhere, anytime. Anyway,、um, so thanks for coming on, you guys.、Um, if you're not. If you're not on my Discord, feel free coming in. You know, if you're not on my Patreon, feel free,、uh, you know, joining my Patreon, keep my channel alive.、Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Turn on the notification bell. That way, you know when I come on next. Otherwise, good seeing you guys. I'm glad you guys actually saw Ding Ding and Samga. Have a good day. Well.